coil are two of the energetic reflexes that Arthur described. And back in the day, when Arthur would teach, uh, we would have what we would call an experience with the fountain. And <laughs> at that time, there were five reflexes that Arthur taught us about. And I always thought of them as the five laws of Arthur. And they were rebound, recoil, follow on, ongoing action, and regret, which we refer to as remembered emotional response as well. Those are the five reflexes that we, he actually explained <laughs> to people, uh, unlike the Sini time zone reflex and the Bullery, you know, and all of that. Um, and there has been some confusion in the community at large because the reflexes are introduced as concepts in usually in the phase five class. That's usually when you first hear of it, see it, see it demonstrated and stuff. So <laughs> The truth of the matter is, the reflexes are not phase five. Somebody decided that phase five class is a good place to show them, but that doesn't necessarily mean that the reflexes are phase five. The reflexes, I think of them as the energetic physiology of the body. The reflexes describe how our bodies respond or react energetically to contact. And that happens in phase four, it happens in phase five, and it happens in phase six. So the reflexes aren't a phase. Rather, it's a way the body responds, and it's a way that you can get information about how the body can have a conversation with you engaging the reflex or examining the reflex. So the most fundamental one is rebound. And we, we talk about it from day one usually, that if you push into something, it'll bounce back, right? That idea, you push into something, and eventually it'll boing out, it'll bounce back at you. And recoil, conversely, if you pull on something, after a certain point, it'll pull back. Um, that's one of the reasons why I've been a little scared to go try out Thai yoga massage. Because I don't mind somebody helping me stretch as long as when I'm ready to come out of the stretch, when I'm recoiling, that they track that and quit pulling on me when I'm done with being pulled on. Otherwise, what happens if somebody's still pulling on my arm and it's like I really don't want to be pulled anymore? There's a reflex that happens with my other hand. <laughs> it's like, right. stop yanking my arm, sucker. It doesn't feel good, right? That's the recoil. And recoil has a broader sense, right, of when we talk, talk about icky stuff, sometimes we... Ew, right? We recoil away from it. Moving away from something is recoil. So that's a rebound and a recoil. Sometimes there won't be a rebound, right? And in the phase four classes, a lot of teachers will say, well, if they don't like compression, then just pretend you're compressing. Mm -hmm. Has anybody ever heard that in a class? Mm -hmm. If somebody doesn't like the compression, pretend. then do less compression, oh. or just stand at the neck and put your hand on the head and pretend that you're compressing without actually pressing it. Because we don't necessarily like to tell students about the recoil until they're energetically aware enough to track the recoil. 
Because mm. otherwise you get into one of those Thai yoga like, quit yanking on me or I'm going to smack you things. Okay. So mm. there's nothing wrong with distraction as long as you recognize the instant that that part of the body wants to go back in. That recoil. If you can track the recoil, you can get a lot of mileage. Right? But if you can't track the recoil, you piss off your clients. They might not be consciously pissed off, but they will probably never come back to you. You know, because you do something that their body doesn't like on a fundamental energetic level. That's what I've noticed. However, recoil is incredibly useful. So, let's say you don't feel a rebound happening. You compress, and normally in class this is something we would show with the legs, but our legs no longer have any reflexes at this point. <laughs> you know, they have been resourced so much that everybody is taking a nap now. And uh, we won't be able to feel it as much. So we're going to do it from the shoulders as another way to explore those reflexes, okay? It's like, yeah, no, nothing's happening down there. They're all <laughs> jellified, you know, at this point. Everybody, after that, Langer's work. So I'm just going to notice with Alice's shoulders. And I'm going to start in a very physical manner, but I am going to be tracking for a rebound that comes from compression and see if there's a recoil as well. We'll see. We just have to see. Okay? This is experimental. Okay. So I'm going to just be pushing towards the, um, the south end of Alice's body here from her shoulders. Just, wow, that's interesting. Oh, Alice. Wonderful. Okay. What I noticed, and you guys might feel it energetically or you might see it, but I want you to watch what happens with Alice's right shoulder as I begin to push it down. And in fact, the first time I touched it, it was almost a, like, flick off. This particular shoulder has no desire to be pressed south towards her feet. I'm not particularly having any right now. Let's see about the left shoulder. A little bit, and boing, back. was abrupt. That was more like um, the old-fashioned pinball machines, you know, when you pull back a little thing and the spring and then you let go and you bump that little ball out of there. That's what it felt like. So, I'm thinking, these shoulders really aren't having any compression today. I wonder if they'd like distraction. Okay. So we can look at that in a physical sense. Well, good old binary orthobionomy. If it doesn't want to go one way, try the other direction, right? Can I take your arm above your head? Is that okay for you? Okay. Gotcha. So I'm going to draw her arm away from her body. Whoa. Wow. She's very willing to go this way. And now she wants to come back. And I'm just right there with her. It's like we're holding hands, skipping down the road together. Okay. I'm going to do that again, just so you guys can really feel it. Uh, the direction of my pull is going to be in this direction, pulling out and away from Alice's body. And back in. And now it's willing to accept some compression. Look at how... The compression translates through Alice's whole body. Let's see if I can do it from the shoulder, Alice. Hmm. 
the way back. Okay. That's a little illustration of rebound and recoil there. And this shoulder is there you go. Rubberized as my friend would say. Good. Okay.